This is your morning report on ongoing events. As of last night, the Imperial government has declared martial law by order of Crown Prince Cedric. A military command center has been established, and Governor General Rufus has been appointed as its interim representative. Further, as of this morning, railway access has been severely restricted, not only in Heimdall, but throughout all of Erebonia. We are currently using every resource at our disposal to determine the suspect's background. We will share this information with all of you the moment we are certain, so I ask that you wait for now, and above all, stay strong. I understand your anger, your sorrow, and your fear, and feel them just as keenly, if not more. And so I pledge to you, we will uncover the truth of this incident. This is the morning news broadcast for Trista. We're told the Emperor's current status is still critical. At this point, it's hard to determine whether or not he'll be able to recover. We now have a message from Prince Oliver to share with you. The Emperor has yet to regain consciousness. We cannot yet let our guards down. Do not become lost in rumors and hearsay. Remain steadfast, and support one another through this dark time. Have faith that the light of hope will yet show itself and illuminate the path ahead.
I never thought Ash would... We had our differences at first, but he wasn't a bad person. After everything we overcame together, we grew to understand each other. And I know now, there is absolutely no way he's the kind of person who would commit such an atrocity. I agree. He was definitely a troublemaking punk, but he wasn't selfish or irresponsible. And despite his lone wolf tough guy act, he'd always help us when we needed him. But looking back, something may have been a little off about him. It was quite the surprise to hear he was from Hommel. Tita, you knew someone else who was born there, right? Yeah, I didn't know there was another survivor. He's in Liberal right now. I'd like to contact him if possible. Unfortunately, we can't use the communication network and we're not allowed to board Panzer's Soldats. To be honest, I'm beginning to worry about Altina too. Yeah. Maybe we should have stopped her from going. <sighs> Green? Never thought that kid could have done something like that. It's my fault. Even though he seemed like he was tough, I always knew he was a bit unstable too. I should have done something about it after our trip to Hamel. But I kept getting sidetracked by other problems. I failed him as his instructor. That's not true, Reen. This is my first time being an instructor. And I'm still a total half-ass. Toa's new here too. You can't just expect to be perfect at it after only a few months. That's right, Reen. I think the important thing is what you do next. Altina's already hard at work, right? Well... I received a message through the emergency channel. We've been called to gather. I must report to Intelligence Division HQ. B but Are you going to be okay? Right now, things are... There is no need to worry. I'm sure Milliam and Major Arundel will be there as well. However, I'm more worried about Ash. Well... What he did was so out of the blue, there must be something going on behind the scenes. And that black haze! I bet it had something to do with it! That's the only conclusion I can come to. It's possible he was being controlled by some manner of chemical or hypnosis. It is also fairly likely something of a magical nature was involved as well. Therefore, I will attempt to gain as much information as possible. I refuse to leave a fellow member of Class 7 behind. Allie... You've grown a lot. I agree. She's become very dependable. Even if you've been summoned, don't forget, you're still a student of Thor's. If they try to limit your actions, let us know through the emergency comm network. I'll come get you, even if I need to use Valmar to do it. Instructor Reen. Yeah, us too. We'll definitely come help you. No matter what. Please be careful. Thank you, everyone. I will do my best not to cause you trouble.
We cannot. We must not. And we will not. With blood and with iron, we shall meet out justice. <laughs> well played, Armbrust. Heimdall, and all citizens of Erebonia. I am Cedric Rysay Arnor, son of Emperor Eugent. The Emperor yet remains in critical condition. Needless to say, we have the most skilled doctors available to attend to him. But the situation is still dire. We would greatly appreciate if everyone would pray for Adios to see him through this. However, this incident demonstrates without a shadow of a doubt the scope of the threat looming over our nation and the identity of the foreign power that orchestrated this tragedy. In my father's stead, as Crown Prince, I hereby entrust the fate of our nation to a man I'm sure you may all be familiar with, Chancellor Gilliath Osborne. Alongside him will be Governor General Rufus Alberea, who has already proven himself instrumental in overseeing the military command center. I am Rufus Alberea, interim representative during this period of martial law. We are still in the process of investigating the events that occurred at Valflame Palace. However, we have identified the weapon that was used. It was a handgun manufactured in the Republic of Calvert. It was a Vern Company make. It was made of a material that allowed it to pass through metal detectors without being discovered. Further, it has come to light that in the past few days, nearly 100 Calvardian spies had infiltrated Heimdall. I am Gilead Osborne, Chancellor of the Empire of Erebonia. It pains me beyond description that we can do nothing more for His Majesty than simply pray he pulls through. My inability to prevent this tragedy leaves me shaking with shame and regret. But I ask you, is this the time to cower in our homes? To sit and wait and worry? No, it is most emphatically not. After countless instances of military activity at our borders, our neighbor has finally become brazen enough 
to send spies into our capital. And now this. The message they have sent us is clear. For hundreds of years now, they have been a menace to our nation. But this is no less than a declaration of war. We can no longer ignore the threat at our eastern borders. The Republic of Calvert. Needless to say, we would be foolish to take such a country lightly. Their size and military might are nearly equal to our own. Therefore, in order to survive, we must make a decision. We must put aside the difference between noble and commoner, between individuals and organizations. In order to overcome this dire threat to our way of life, every citizen of Erebonia must come together as one. To enable such a feat, we will establish a new law in the coming days. It shall be known as the National Mobilization Law! Emma, Gaius. Reed, are you at camp? We need to meet up and talk about everything that's happening, including that speech just now. Also, there are some people you need to meet. I have no issue with it. How about you? <sighs> Very well. We'd like to know the situation ourselves. But how do we leave the camp? Good point. I don't think the Imperial Defense Force is just gonna let us waltz out of here. Right. But we need to find an excuse so they'll let Reen out. Oh, I'm sure we'll figure something out. Celine! What? Is that Class 7's... Ah, so the familiar's here. Shut up and follow me! Get moving already! Follow you where? 
Do you recall that old oak tree in the center of camp? I'll summon a magic circle by it that will let you travel through the spirit veins. It, you can do that? Man, this magic stuff sure is handy. Take us with you! You guys! Hey, all of you! Don't try to claim this doesn't concern us. Ash is our classmate. We're worried about Altina too, so please let us go with you. Come to think of it, this totally falls under our special ops missions, right? All right. Class 7, resume special ops missions. Yes, yes sir! sir. Uh, I don't care which of you tags along, let's just go already. I need all of you to be careful. If things get dangerous, give us a call. <sighs> if you're going to go, at least make sure you're fully prepared. May Adios watch over you. Take care. <laughs>